If you have followed the news recently, then you've probably seen headlines about war. Nobody likes wars because of its devastating effect on all spheres of life. Especially the most vulnerable among us, like children, suffer the most. While we currently sympathize with the war happening in Europe, there is another war happening right here in the U.S. that started long before the Civil War. This war is called gerrymandering. Named after a U.S. politician, Albert Jerry, governor of Massachusetts, who signed a bill in 1812 that created a district in Boston and resulted in him winning the election. The old adage, the pen is mightier than the sword, may be true after all. Gerrymandering is the practice where politicians purposefully change election district boundaries to favor their party or socioeconomic class while damaging the chances of their opponents. Look at the images on the slide. What does an old newspaper from 1812 with a monster shape have to do with a district map or a school child? Everything. The monster shape is the first record of a German district and its effect, like other historical wars, has been devastating. Why does this matter? Every 10 years in the U.S., a new census is conducted to account for population changes in districts, and district boundaries are redrawn all over again. Interestingly, small shifts in the size of the majority can add to incredibly significant outcomes in terms of reducing the influence of black voters, transparency in governance, policies, and many more. Because public school districts lie within the boundaries of a county or district, redrawing these boundaries affects the assignment of children to public schools. The problem of assigning children to schools is an overly complicated one, and advocates have suggested the use of computer algorithms for this because they claim they are nonpartisan. Surprisingly enough, there is no mathematical or experimental evidence that supports this claim. Policymakers, nonetheless, have been relying on algorithms to justify their policies. This is where my research comes in. Looking at the effect of direct application of gerrymandering algorithms on perpetuating segregation in schools. The picture of the brightly colored district map was generated from my research as a result. Using three different metrics, some well-known gerrymandering algorithms were analyzed. My findings are novel, and my research aims to curb inequities in the assignment of minoritized children to public schools. My work will ensure that gerrymandering does not become an antagonist in access to educational opportunities for minorities, but become a protagonist for diversity. Because together we stand, divided we fall. And that little boy in the corner over there enjoys an equal opportunity to a well-resourced school. Thank you.